This is the Optimus projection clock with FM radio. Let's take it out of the box. In the box you get the user manual. They give you a power adapter for it. Plugs in goes USB and the USB cable for it. USB 2, USB C. Here is the clock itself right here curved front on it. This is the projection unit. We'll talk more about that later. You have your buttons on the top right over there. So that's easy. There is an antenna for FM radio right over there. Coming around back, you have uh, different controls here. This dimmer control for the uh, display, which is fully dimmable. And we'll talk more about all of this later and also a USB port to charge your phone. So let's get it connected. So there you go. There's a clock button over here. We'll hold that down. And now I can set the time. It's about 5.35. Press again. And you can hold the button to go faster. Press again and it's set and then if you short press the button you get 24 hour time and I believe that'll go in there you go right there simple and easy like that to set the time the alarm there's an alarm button to do the same thing before we proceed on let me tell you a bit more about the clock there are two alarms on it the projection on it can be rotated 180 degrees or the other. You can tilt it back and forward depending on exactly what you want and what works best in your room. There are three brightness levels on the projection. For the main display on it, you can adjust that from 0 to 100%. So 0 means yes, you can black out the display entirely if that's going to help you sleep better or something along those lines. There is a charge port on the side, USB right there. It's a one amp port, which is actually really nice overnight. So your battery can take a nice slow charge, which is nice for a change instead of, I need to get this charged in the next three and a half minutes from zero to 100%, so it's ready for the next three hours of my day. It's a lot easier on your battery to charge that way. There are five different alarm sounds on it. Birds, waves, chords, a beep, and of course, FM radio. There's a built-in CR2032 timekeeper battery. It's a time memory type thing. It's not going to display the clock when the power goes out. It will go black, but it will remember the time, which is nice, because then you don't need to remember to reset it once you uh, make your rounds around the house again. Uh, 12, 24 hour time as I had showed you before and you could also get this with a white display instead. FM radio, button all the way on the left. We can press that. This is a very local copyright free music station. It doesn't seem to go incredibly loud but then again it's not all that bad either for what is playing, of course, you know, you can turn that off and then we'll go from there. Let's spin around to the back over here. On the back you have controls for your volume and your um, display brightness. Alarm 1, Alarm 2, and your alarm volume. You have like a very low, medium, and high that you can set right there. Uh, other than that, let's plug in the phone and see if that will charge here. So let me get my cables plugged in over here. And then, of course, we'll test out the projection and see how that does. There we are. And it comes right up. Perfect. So this way you can charge your phone like that. Let's go check out the projection. So for projection, the button all the way on the right, you press and 
there's blue that's showing there. Three levels of brightness. Let's turn the lights out and take a look. So for the projection, you can press the button there. And that's your low, medium, and high. It's upside down. If you hold the button, it'll make it the right way. And there you go. Nice and readable at night. It's meant to be seen at night, not during the day, not through a sun shower or anything like that. Uh, you know, it's, it's meant to be viewed at night so you can just kind of glance up from bed and don't have to look to your left or your right on your uh, nightstand or what have you to see it. So that is a nice touch. I just realized earlier I did not have my FM radio station set up properly so it was really kind of quiet. So let's turn the radio back on. And now I just kick the volume up just a tiny bit. Looks like it's going to the next song, so we'll give it just a moment for that. That's at maximum volume. It's small and tinny. It's enough for a bedside clock is about what I can tell you. I mean, it doesn't purport to be a boombox. It's a clock radio as such. But it's really nice all around with that. Of course, you have all the standard features like a snooze function that'll wait for nine minutes and then ring the alarm again. And it has, uh, you know, a sleep timer for the radio as well. So um, you can have up to 90 minutes for that to fall asleep to music. You can adjust the projection like that by tipping that. So it's displayed on the wall where you need. It comes out the top over here. You might see the blue light right over there. But otherwise, all around, it's a decent clock. Nice that you could see it from across the room because of the nice big numbers on it. Once again, this was the Optimus Projection Clock with FM Radio. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.